However, I remember distinctly a conversation over a Marine who was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. This was outside the intent of the fund to support a Marine that was, wounds were not visible. By this time we had a board of ten. Those six women and four men. All the men were Marines, Marine veterans who had combat experience. The women wanted the fund to help the Marines. The men expressed strong reservations about providing help for post-traumatic stress because, as we later admitted, we wanted to be viewed as those who thought that anyone who complained about post-traumatic stress was wimping out. It's important I tell you this because we weren't the only doubters and there were senior active duty Marines that were doubters. So for a long time, Marines suffering with this hidden injury didn't get help. Now you'll notice I'm talking about post-traumatic stress and I'm omitting the D word, disorder. <laughs> Out of respect for these young veterans today who are repelled by that label, they'll tell you, I don't have a disorder. And until we can get the medical profession, getting right in your face here, until we get the medical profession to cease labeling our veterans as such, we should expect and not be surprised by the young veterans' resistance to self-admitting that they might have a problem. Now from my experiences on the Semper Fi Fund Board, let me relate some of the consequences of the mental injuries we're experiencing. To us, the most distressing consequence is the long-range impact of these injuries if the wounded don't seek help. Many of the individuals we helped financially in 2004, 2005, and 2006 have required financial help several times since. They experience very high emotional highs and very low emotional lows. We're seeing it impact the spouse, the children, the extended family. It affects their work, their job, their schools. They deal with memory issues, anger, frustrations, difficulty sleeping, nightmares. And we see examples of self-medication with alcohol as the young Rainer veteran distances himself from his family. Some have repeatedly disappeared for extended periods of time. And these problems don't have a bias. They affect all ranks and both genders. <clears throat> 